There once was a ship that put to sea, and the name of the ship was the Belly of Tea. The winds blew hard, her bow dipped down, oh blow me, bully boys blow. Soon may the wellerman come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tonguing is done, we'll take our leave and go. She had not been two weeks from shore, when down on her a right whale bore. The captain called all hands and swore he'd take that whale in tow. Soon may the wellerman come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tonguing is done, we'll take our leave and go. Before the boat had hit the water, the whale's tail came up and caught her. All hands to the side, harpooned and fought her when she died down below. All right, and welcome everyone to the much anticipated Super Duper Long Overdue Session 29 of our Skull and, Fa skull and Shackles. Skull and, skull and Fackles. All in Fackles, Fedventure Math. Um, Loss I've, of Faculties campaign. I also apparently am having an aneurysm. So no, but Skull and Shackles Adventure Path. Uh, joining me today are four awesome role players who I've missed playing with, and I'm glad to be back with them. It's been a hot second. Luckily, I've had a chance to play with uh, one of them, at least, and talk to two of them. Patrick, I haven't seen your beautiful face in so long. I was just thinking about my trip down to Texas when I visited you. It was an absolute riot. That game store was super cool. Yeah. And uh, hopefully one day I'll make it back down again for a little bit longer. But with that being said, as is tradition, we're going to go around the table of everyone quickly introduce themselves, tell us who they're playing, remind us who they are, and we'll take it from there. Tomic, you go first. Hey everybody, I'm Tommy, playing our uh, cantankerous uh, tiefling druid Harlan Blackmane, and uh, it's good to be back. Who didn't die yet? Didn't die yet. Hi everybody, I'm Joe, I'm playing our Asmodean anti-paladin, Admiral Caius the Kinless, who is doing his best to rip this campaign off the rails. Succeeding. Mostly. <laughs> <laughs> Mostly, that's good. Hi, I'm uh, I'm Zeb. I am playing Edward Tarbos, uh, captain of the Bastard's Hand. That was and, so professional. That was like, hello, I am hello. Captain Edward, Tar captain of the Bastard's Hand. Yeah, it was so professional, Zeb. That was beautiful. I'm, well done. I'm Love that. Smooth. Smooth. Love that. Smooth. Smooth. Smooth like Smooth. a gravel road. <laughs> Smooth. <laughs> And I'm uh, Patrick, or Light's Fantastic, and I am playing uh, Wakir Thrice Drowned, or Cleric of Bismara. Mm, good. And I'm, of course, Darewolf, the Game Master, and all of the other NPCs and what have you. It's uh, It's been a hot, hot second, really. It has been a hot second. And uh, I'm curious as to how this is going to... How this is going to play out. I really am. I'm curious how this is going to play out. It could be crazy. It could be wild. And it could be amazing. Um, but I'm thinking it's going to be a lot of fun. So when we last left off, our intrepid pirates, you guys had... Well, you had gone to the Island of Empty Eyes, which was aptly named thereafter the island of this place fucking sucks. Um, and and we hate it here and we don't want to do this anymore. So after delving, let's see. By the way, in in canon, um, Contrabar was saved. He's heavily scarred mentally, um, but he is saved. Oh, he's right? not. He's, no, he's not. He he, he was pretends to be people. heavily scarred mentally. He's all right? not. He was laid with fish people. He was into that shit. I mean, death by snoo snoo. All right. So, or maybe life by snoo snoo. But I digress. It, the worst part is, it's not even death by snoo snoo because like twice as big of a difference as it needs to be. If they took me, it would be death by snoo snoo. Well, you know, crazier things have happened. So it's like, ah, oh yeah, oh no, yay, oh no, oh no. I love that. <laughs> Such a good future up episode. I, oh, I, so I, 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 I like the idea of us showing up to save Contrabar and him just going, honey, I'm glad you're home. Oh, it's you guys. Yay! Oh, hey, oh goody. Oh, oh wow. I'm oh, so glad gosh. you came. To rescue me is that my are we, is that are we is that now is that is that is that is that Shar Gontar is she ladies, is that her head that is unfortunate ladies please the body is willing the mind is willing the body did, is did she happen Stop. did she happen to have the ribeye and wine on her or yeah she did she did oh that's really unfortunate we were we were going places but all right moving on uh, <laughs> that's so good so good stuff so you guys had made the decision the executive decision to say pike this 
hike this place. We are going to go ahead and move on and go meet with our, our mommy pirate, Tessa Fairwind, and be like, Tessa, what the hell is actually going on? She had revealed to you that she had done some research and that most people sent to the island are sent there simply to die. Um, the question might have been, why didn't she tell you? And she's like, I kind of warned you about this, but, you know, we moved on. So you devised a plan where you would ally with her. She would send her fleet, along with many pirates, to help you clear the island of Cyclopses, both one-eyed winged ones and one-eyed non-winged ones, tame some dinosaurs, build a druid's grove for Harlan, and in the course of about two months, build a small little thriving portside community redo the fort many lives were lost most of them cyclopses but the but the island was retaken and a small thriving coastal town which is named eeny meeny miny atomic you're gonna name it because i don't know it just makes sense to me i think what am i naming you took too long all right caius you're gonna name it beans rest what's it called beans rest beans rest beans. a new thriving city known as fiends rest has popped up has popped up on this island of empty eyes. It's now the island of Fiend's Rest, aptly renamed for the city. And it is the day of the Pirate Council. At least a majority of them will be coming to the island to check on your work and judge whether or not you have the right to be free captains, true free captains, true pirate lords of your own right. But little do they probably know you guys have something else in mind. You have something else in mind where you might be uh, aggressive acquisition of their current little places. They, little do they know. We're going to stab Fairwind in the back Ooh. and become pirate lords because the island's cleared by her men's work. Yes. No. Yes, that's no. true. That's just like, ah, yes. She rises up her sword. It's like, ha, ah, you've all fallen into our trap. And Kai's is like, no, Tessa, you have. Get her. And everyone jumps on her. She's like, why me? <laughs> I was always your friend. <laughs> what a twist. That's a horrible twist. I hate it. I, I don't know. even like it. Like I, 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 don't, I mean, like, I'm not a game master to tell the players not to do something, but please don't do that. That's such a dick move. <laughs> She's been nothing but good so to you. It's so awful and it would definitely work. <laughs> and it like means and it would have no serve no purpose. But it would. Oh, no. Like, she's a traitor. <laughs> it would 100 percent serve Caius' purposes. You're he'd be a, be a pirate lord. You're a dick and he wouldn't bad. have to fight oh. he wouldn't have to fight the bad guys. I'm so glad you're here. Time for a triple double cross. <laughs> <laughs> Not a double cross, but a triple cross. What a twist. What a twist. That's brilliant and horrible, and I'm filled with pain. And sadness, but all right, let's Jesus, mother of Mary and Joseph, who even are you people? He, get, I, he gets he gets one good idea with taking the Dominator, and then he's just off. He's the mad rails. with power, guys. He's, he's completely mad rails. with pow power at this point. It's it's really it's really a shame. Like I I'm I just, I'm just sad. I'm just sad and disappointed in him as a human being. I mean, crikey. I didn't say we should betray mommy. I mean, Captain Terrawind, Fairwind, mommy, mommy, <laughs> mommy pirate, <laughs> Doc, mommy. mommy. I mean, I mean, mommy. I mean, mommy, <laughs> mommy, mommy, mama, mommy, mama, mama, moo, moo, mama. That's so good. So it is the day of the pirate council having arrived, and a small fleet of ships has arrived. There are there is the Kraken, uh, which is the uh, Master of Gales mm. ship itself. There's Tessa Fairwind's um, flagship. You also have another, a couple other interesting characters who are arriving as well. That I shall take a little bit of time here to describe to you guys, and uh, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see what you think of them. We'll see what you think of them. Let's go ahead and switch over to the battle map. This is the feasting hall. The day itself, the day itself, per Tessa's recommendation, we should not attack them outright. We need to lull them into a sense of security as though we are abiding by the edict that they had given to us. And when they are content, fat, eating, and happy, that is when I recommend we spring our trap. That is when I recommend we spring our trap. All right? Oh. Um, so. Wedding. There is I was a, sick of the same thing, Patrick. A little bit, a little bit of red wet wedding vibes we're going here, but we're gonna call this one the bloody, the bloody feast, the day. bloody bruja, the bloody bruja, bruja, <laughs> shark no, bait, that was bad. I, that was it, bad. it was not your that best work, bad. but oh I mean, you are sorry, you. sorry to everyone. Oh, yeah, 
it's it's fine. rusty. You just gotta shake it off. Um, it's good. It's just rusty. Haters Patrick gonna is hate, a little rusty. Hate, hate, it's okay. Hate, we're good. Hate. We're good. Haters so, gonna hate. We're gonna go. Oh, sorry. Please, dear God, my wife only right. listens to Taylor Swift. I need a break from it. Please, please, please. Just, just shake All right, it off. So, please, one of the first pirates <laughs> that we're going to talk about here is Lady, Lady Cersei Bloodmorn. She is a blonde haired, fierce pirate captain, one of the pirate lords. And she is, she's like a, she's like a militant lesbian. All right, I'm just going to throw it out there. I'm probably going to get canceled for saying that. But she's just, like, aggressively angry and a man-hater. All right? She is. She despises men. Her entire crew, anyone that most of the people that work under her are females. Um, all women all women crews. And the couple of men that do are, that have the worst jobs on the ship. I'm talking, like, scrubbing barnacles off the, off the hull. Um, you know, cleaning the poop shoots. I mean, whatever the bad thing is, she just, she, she's a man hater. She really is. And, uh, and just not a nice person, uh, overall. Um, some, some say she's, uh, some say she's an abusive lover. Um, so just a bad person. I mean, she's a pirate. It is what it is, right? Just a terrible human being. The next one, um, is a man known as this gentleman right here. All right. This is known as Avmar Sorash. Avmar Sorash. He is a werewolf, a lycanthrope. Um, but oh. in control of his abilities. And he is actually a happily married man. Um, at least he uh, pretends to be happily married. To a woman by the name of Udessa Rayoquio. Who is a... Uh, who is a... Uh, she kept her last name. And he was cool with it. Uh, pretty chill guy. All things considered. But he is a fierce barbarian fighter. Um, he is... Probably the most bloodthirsty of the pirate lords. He's one of those... A lot of pirate lords just kind of hang out in their cities or their towns. He is always on his ship, out and about. Um, he just loves to get out and just cause problems, right? The next one is a gentleman by the name of... He's a gnome. Uh, this is Miscure Mecurart, a.k.a. The Eel. He's just known as The Eel. Kind of a small-timey pirate lord. He's one of those guys that got his got his pirate lordingness but no one understands why he has one ship doesn't have a city or a port of call but still he's on the pirate council i don't i don't know i don't i, I we, we don't know what he is and no one really knows like what he does uh pretty chill guy not a racist he's good you know he's but he's but you know it is what it is all right the next one up are there's two characters two interesting characters all right this is a water elf, all right? He is wow. a water elf named Captain Maisie Daramar. Captain Maisie Daramar, green-haired water elf, uh, wields a trident, all right? Re wields a trident. And he is interesting because as a pirate lord, he has a ship, but spends most of his time next to it, not on it. He likes to swim, all right? <laughs> kind of a weird guy, all right? Uh, but he's also got his first mate with him, who is a rat folk, uh, named, named First Mate Maisie Daramar. All right, Maisie Daramar. First Mate Maisie Daramar. They have the same name, which is weird. All right? So it's First Mate Maisie and Captain Maisie. No one understands really why it is, but uh, kind of a rat folk. Looks like maybe like a little spell thief kind of guy. Um, and they seem very close. That's all I'm saying. Platonic, but close. Okay? Platonic, but close. Uh, the next one here is an unexpected person that Tessa saw. Has no idea who the fuck she is. But she showed up. The other captain seemed very respectful. She's a tiefling with red hair, a big old tail. She's got daggers on her and looks looks ready for a fight. And she's just kind of watching everything that's going on. Just kind of watching. Now, of course, you've also got the Master of Gales, who you guys have met before. He's that druid guy. And uh, that's who showed up. That's who showed up. So the event started with the pirates showing up. They were kind of being like, oh, look at this small little town. They're kind of dickish about it. You gave them a tour. They visited the fort, the old ruins, where they'd cleared out the, uh, where they'd cleared out all the cyclopses. And the, there'd been some events. There's some, like, some, like, pirate joke there was like a a theater troupe that came through and told some bad pirate jokes like oh how many pirates does it take to raise a mast um 14 14 
because that's right. <laughs> that's that's the correct number. <laughs> Yay! It was very bad jokes. Very bad, terrible joking. Uh, we hated to see it. We hated to see it, but that's all right. And we are live right now. We are live right now. And uh, we are going to settle into the feast. The feast. Now, Caius, you always have a plan, okay? And I want to know, what's the plan? Okay, talk to me, Caius. I don't actually have a plan. That is fantastic, the, the, and I the, love the, that. The plan, the plan was getting you here. <laughs> All right, well, we're here. All right, so the feast has started. And so Mr. Bonefist didn't show up. Erdak Bonefist did not show up. He did not. He respectfully declined the invitation. He was needed elsewhere, probably at a brothel in Port Peril. <laughs> we got handed a piece of paper, and it just says nah on it. Nah. Signed Kurdak Bonefist. <laughs> Just nah. <laughs> so, via the telepathic link at that point, Kaius would be like, Well, I suppose we take the prisoners we can of those who don't like us and then confront Kurdak with them in chains because this needs to get done regardless. I'd like everyone to make perception checks, please. Oh boy. Oh boy, here we go, Thanks. killing again. Oh boy, here I go, killing again. 539 Kai. Check My lord. Um, being a vampire must have. Oh bonus? my god. 39? Uh, oh, yeah. Racial bonus plus 10. That's insane. So. That's right. You're an actual vampire now. Proud about that. You're a cheater. Oh. Um, well, vampire versus werewolves. It's, it's, I feel like I've seen this movie before. Oh, um, no. that's fantastic. So there is a, the room itself is filled with murmurs. It's a stone building. This was the grand, grand hall of the old Chelish fort you guys uh, refurbished and brought back. And there's a, there's a slight murmuring of conversation. But with that 39, with that 30, with that 28 and 25, and even with the 20, you can see there is a tenseness about the room, Right. People are eating slowly. You see hands resting on weapons. There is a obvious, just simmering just before that boiling moment. The pot's about to boil. You can hear just a little bit of a whistle from the steam coming out of the kettle. It's being watched, but it might boil. I shall say over the telepathic bond. Oh, should I kick this off? Or should I wait for it to go off on its own? Well, uh, we should probably pick our moment. Just what should we do to kick that moment off? One of the servants is walking by to set down a plate of food next to Lady Cersei Blood. And he trips slightly and spills a little bit of the drink on her. He quickly starts to apologize. And she punches him in the face. He goes sprawling and lays down. She stands up and starts berating him for being an one imbecile of, and an idiot. One of our people? One of your people. And then she turns her face towards the grand table up at the top. Looks directly at Caius. I call bullshit, she says. It is nigh impossible that your little motley crew, both of them, this so-called dominator that you likely made a deal with Cheliax for, let's be real here, no pirate crew could take that ship. I believe you are a traitor, and I believe you are a liar, and I believe you are a cat, so-called Captain Caius. As soon as she turned, he got up and started walking. Like, not, not aggressively, just stood up from his seat and started walking towards the top of the stairs. Good, 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 good. And he just kind of stands at the top of the stairs, you know, arms crossed in front of him, not like crossed over his chest, but like at his waist. And he just kind of furrows his brow at her and looks down and says, is your crew so incapable that you believe it impossible for greater tasks to get accomplished? And he begins walking down the stairs. There is a bunch of looks. The room has fallen silent. You see... This tiefling woman stand up and just kind of 
take a couple steps to lean against this post over in the corner right here. All right. Tyus, you are making your way down the stairs. She's standing up. She's moved over to here and she's pointing at you um, aggressively. Very rude. <coughs> she's not using her thumb like you should when you're a politician. She's pointing with her point finger. Uh, right? Okay. Impossible? Excuse me. No. So called Captain Caius. Simply very unlikely. I think you cheated. I think. And I think I could put you in the ground and not be scratched afterwards. There is a audible gasp about the room. She clicks her tongue. Is that a challenge, Caius? You'd like it to be. Happy to step outside right now. Looks around. A couple of the other pirate lords are... They've got that, like, this is a shit about to pop off. Like, what is happening? Caius? Mm. Caius will say on the telepathic bond. If I can slaughter them one by one, let me. Right, over, over, the tele, over the telepathic bond, just, just Edward is just, well, it's either he's going to take them all out on his own, which I, I say let the crazy bastard, or... You were asking when it's going to pop off, Wakir. I think this might be about time. As this is going on... Let's just see how this one goes. Owlbear has gotten up out of his seat and moved his way forward. And he's holding his big old fucking club, right? And he's just watching this interaction. You know Owlbear, Caius, is very protective mm -hmm. of you, right? And he's just waiting and he's watching. And one of her crew stands up and whispers something to her. Looking back, looks around. And whether or not they have, like, knowledge of religion, Caius is very obviously different from when these people would have last seen him. Oh, yeah. Like, he, he is not breathing. It is... Paler, not breathing. Has Paler, more yeah. Elongated fangs. Yeah. Yeah. She's thinking about it. She's looking around. Looks over. Across the way, there's this huge piles of food on here a lot of it picked over the werewolf guy is just kind of like scratching his neck and he leans over and whispers something to his wife um and you see his wife um like kind of like slowly push the bench back as though she's about to stand up which she does stand up but just kind of steps back slightly the eel right here is looking around and just kind of eyeing everyone tessa has tapped on the shoulder of one of the pirates behind her some of her crew that's here you've got uh you've got harper is uh smoking his pipe and his eyes are locked on you edward locked on you like just just say the word say the word lad say the word and you've even got you've even got your boy your boy El elio elio ferron hello i cannot speak in a fresh accent is it I, I would actually prefer Elliot to stay on the Dominator, if that's possible. Yep. He because vanishes ships, before your eyes and disappears. If, shi if ships start to flee, he, I want him there to punch holes in them. He's there. Nope. He's there with the Dominator, nope. just like ready. I love that. I want. Uh, there, this would have been a conversation as well that uh, Zeal, my uh, my gunman, would be ready to go more towards to, more towards to shoot as people are fleeing to essentially shoot for the holes as they're leaving as love the that. Dominator just broadsides them. Cutthroat Grok, you've got Shivka, Master at Arms, she's ready to go. And there is a there's silence in the room as this last this last call. This, you know, I'll fight you right now, etc. Silence in the room. This sort of tenseness in the Caius air. Will, right? Caius is going to actually look across the room and he's going to make a diplomacy check and say, come now. Need there be so much anticipation for a fight in a pirate celebration? And uh oh, or are we going to let her cowardice take the take the 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 the, uh, the merriment out of all of us? As if on cue, this pirate crew right here 
gets up, lunges forward, and plunges her cutlass into the back of this enemy pirate crew right here. She lets out an audible, oh, kind of noise, and she screams, this pirate crew, for Tessa, for Captain Caius, for the new pirate lords, and we're going to fucking blow this pot, okay? We're fucking right, going. Okay. Let's get weird. Let's fucking get weird. We're going after it. We're blowing this off. Oh. This is going to be a long-ass fucking fight, because there's going to be a lot ah. of motherfuckers in this, all right? And uh, let me get some battle music going, because this is about to get crazy. I'm not ready for this. I mean, I am, but I'm not. The war! Now, I did warn the players that I wasn't going to pull any punches. All right? Yes. Zero punches are pulled, but also YOLO swag 420 blades. The real question is, what is the Master of Gales going to do? Like, I, think, I think you warned us every before every session that you're not going to pull any punches out. Yeah, I think you've said this since session one. I'm going to kill you. Yeah. Well, well, I mean, this one almost did it. No one else almost did it that first island. Islands just suck. Islands are bad. Don't ever oh, go man. on islands. Islands oh, are bad, okay. 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 Actually, not that. Much. I wish you could pop out the turn, turn order. Yeah, that'd be nice. Yeah, I'd put it on my vertical <laughs> monitor here. Can you not pop it out? It'd be so handy. No. Nope. Because I have it like full width of like the left side of my screen, and it's still too long. All right. So, first up is Harlan Blackman. Indeed. Yes. Fine. Yes. Yes, fine. Right. Quite. Let us commence forth. And we're going to do a little classic aspect of the Falcon. I'm scared. It's a good one. Scared for you guys. Good one. But also excited. But mostly scared. So, uh, well, folks can see you. Yeah. Do aspect of the falcon, and then uh... aspect of the caw caw. <laughs> yeah, love that journey. And I even brought your bird inside because yes. I care about you. Yes, it's about to be a big burp. Burp. Very large burp. Bourbon. Uh, I think that's probably it because he's uh. Caius doesn't really want to move, so. Caius is going to draw his sword with a flourish and kind of circle towards um, walk here, here, just kind of delaying. Hmm. I like that. Um, he's going to cast as well. He's going to cast Shield of Wings. Love it. Oh, love it. I do, I do mine. Yeah. Oh, did I not do mine? Over the telepathic bond, he does say, want haste, get up here with us. The region haste. It's a it's a thirty foot circle, I think. Thirty foot. It's thirty foot. It's a, it's a thirty foot circle. Anyone getting it? Yes. Or I did like not the actual dropping range isn't is plenty long, but like the, the the area of itself is like thirty feet. Okay. The actual dropping range I can look at, but it's not. Edward Tarbo. Twenty five foot. You're up next. Two. Um. I could slam a potion and move, right? Yes. That Standard action to slam the potion, move action to move. All right. I'm going to slam a potion of heroism. Of that. And I think we can get to there. I can get to there. And uh, Edward is going to essentially throw the bottle behind him and with both hands just draw in a reverse grip both of his cutlasses and then spin them and crack his neck and look at the fight that's getting ready to start. Weird. When, 
When would Caius have said something about haste? Did you do it on his turn, or would he have done it? Just now, if you had telepathy. Free, free uh, this woman here begins to sing a pirate shanty, his wife. Which one? You ping? Sorry. He begins to sing a pirate shanty, this lady right here. She's gonna sing a pirate okay. shanty, and she crouches down low behind this table. Um, and it's, there once was a ship that put to sea, and the name of the ship was the Billy of Tea. The winds blew harder, blow, man, darn him, blow, my bully boys blow. He's singing right now. And, uh, the pirates seem inspired by this, interestingly enough. So we'll deal with that at a later time. We'll see what happens with that. And the Dominator. This lady is going to move up and double move up next to the Master of Gales. First Mate Harper is going to um, quickly draw in a very deep, the ch it cherries his pipe. He like lets out smoke. It kind of looks like a dragon, draws his cutlass, and he's like, Avast! Uh, just screams, and he's gonna move over and get ready to fight with Tessa. Not fight her, but fight alongside her. Right. The eel, the eel, the eel, the eel. He is going to make a beeline to right here. Uh, he is going to grab a small vial off of his his belt, and he's going to chuck it at Caius. What's your touch AC, Caius? Uh, 19. All right. Wait, no, I'm looking at the wrong one. 14. Okay. Uh, I'm going to make that acid. So he takes a minus because it's just out of the range increment, so it's going to be... Wow. Wow. Okay. That's an opening volley. 25 to confirm? Yep. Okay. Uh, ooh. Wow. Uh, this is going to be acid damage. Okay. And this will be... Are you immune to critical hits? I don't know. I don't think you are. But I could be wrong. I don't think so. I think it'd be undead or suffer now, not three five. They do, they do. Okay, that's right. Yep. So you're gonna take forty-eight points of acid damage. Forty-eight points. A lot of acid damage. Uh Blackbeak. I I like to imagine Caius didn't dodge that as a, as like a hubris thing. Like he's in his fighting stance, he just didn't dodge it. And then now he's now he's now he's there like ah, Ow, it burns! Com committed to not dodging it, not moving. It's just spicy, spicy. <laughs> hot, 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 <laughs> What's he going for? I, Kura, you are out of control, man, today. You were out of control earlier. You're out of control now. This guy, I swear. I love him. Good man. The uh, black be moved. I'll be it for now. Uh, this lady. He is going to move up to here. And then she is going to make a stealth check. Okay. She has. What does she have to do this? Ugh, stealth. Oh, her stealth is really. Getting inspired. No, nope, that's inspired. Damn. Twenty. Okay. She seems to just slip into a shadow and disappear, and you're not sure where she went. So that's a thing that happened. All right. Mm. Uh, this pirate crew here is going to get up, going to move over, and try to stab Owlbear. How well they do. 27 is a hit. Slashes at him with his cutlass. Owlbear grunts. And Owlbear will get to go at some point. Probably crush her skull. Fuck here. <laughs> um, we'll pull up my holy symbol of Besmara. And cast a spell called Instant Armor for myself. And that will get me the equivalent of half plate mail force. Ooh. 
Very nice. Without the dexterity bonuses. Anything else? Or minuses. Um, and then he'll five foot step there. Uh, Shifka's gonna move up and try to grapple the Master of Gales to, like, take the druid out of the fight. That feels like a good idea. Um, although he hasn't done anything yet. He's just kind of sitting there, right? He was very quiet the whole time. Uh... I mean, I feel like we would have told everybody that he would... He was kind of... Offense? Yeah. Yeah. He's still gonna go like, for it. Hey, the, the guy with the beard, don't, don't cave his skull in. 26 his cmd is a little bit higher she goes to grapple him like she goes to grab him and he just kind of leans to the side and she like only gets she only gets table and he just looks <laughs> over to her with this like angry old man look he's like what the fuck are you doing <laughs> unacceptable right, pirate crew let's see here. she is going to get up and move Dominator was just going to double move up to here. Dominator crew is going to move over to here. This captain, he is not sure what he wants to do with his life. He looks over to his rat friend, seems to say something, and he is going to eeny, meeny, miny. Let's kill this person. It's up. Moves back, and he's going to try and stab Shivka in the chest with his human bane trident. Also being inspiring courage. So be I can't tell who's on our side, who's not. 25. I think we only have the people that the, the portraits we recommend, that we recognize and these these ones, I think. The red-haired ones are bad. The ones with the pirate hats are good. He's going to hit her and deal some damage. It'll be 1d8 plus three. Oof, Shivka gets hit for 21 damage. He does not like that. This guy here charges the bird. <laughs> That's a brave person. That is a very bird, brave bird. Bird will kick no. your ass. Charges the bird. That's a not a smart idea. Misses. Uh, gonna move up. I was gonna cast a spell on him, but there's no need now. <laughs> Attack. They start fighting. Lady Cersei Blood. Yeah, go after the vampire, Cersei. Go. Dare you. Double dog day. charges walk here <laughs> no nope, she's gonna charge walk here what did I do to her mm. you exist uh. you're a man this is this sounds like let's make sure but oh one. my god yeah, that I, I can't uh, hero point that. You want, hero, you want to pirate point that? I want to PP point that. PP point it. <laughs> wow. She has a crit what range. What the hell? She has a crit range. <laughs> um, that sucks. You're an evil, evil, evil. It's a man. 29 confirm. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, she's That's gonna good. do. It's not gonna be that much damage. That'll be. <laughs> not gonna be that much damage. it's not it's really wait a minute bad. let me it's hold on a second let me my i'm trying to see if my untyped bonus for my armor was eight let me turn that off for a second i want to see if it's actually sending my yeah it is okay all right you're good x plus he's inspiring courage five six sixteen and then she's got a little bit of fire damage on this. She could only roll a one and still hit me. Uh, you take a whopping 22 points of damage. Not that bad. That's it. Not that bad. That's what I'm saying. I'm it's not that bad. expecting a lot worse. Nah, it's not that bad. Now roll a fortitude to say. Nope, you're good. Asara. Asara's gonna... A little hasty poo? Yep. Move forwards. 
and dropping a haste on the main group here. Okay. So actually, uh, yeah, it's not gonna delay for Harlan. He didn't move. He's still in range. Well, no, he's not. The he's closest not. to the. Well, to be fair, you also said that after my turn, so I haven't had a chance to move yet. <laughs> oh, okay. I didn't know I said that after your turn. Chill delay. Chill delay till Harlan. Oh, so no, no haste. No haste yet. Okay. Um, this guy turns into a werewolf. Oh, yeah, he just goes straight feral werewolf. And then lunges up and across and is going to try to attack the bird. Because that looks go. delicious. And he is... He's level high level. He's going to try and eat him. Did you know that, that, that a, a huge... One of the biggest enemies of giant birds is werewolves? I don't know if you're aware of that. No, I didn't. I yeah. didn't know that. Yeah, it's real. Yeah, it's a real thing. Yeah, it exists. It's uh, it's it's actually science. I just I just want you to tell me all these facts just in the voice of David Attenborough. <laughs> I, I don't know if it's I can. Facts. So he is lunging for it. He is wielding a long sword, uh, that is like frosted over, which is pretty cool. And he's gonna just go to town on this. Bird. I thought he was gonna try to eat him. He'll bite him too. But he's gonna swing with his longsword first. 38. Battle blades. Plus, he's got his bonuses. That'll be plus. Plus, one, six, cold. Nice little 22 points of damage to the birdie. Nice little 22. Crew is engaged in fighting. Engaged in fighting. Absolute clusterfuck down there. Die, Captain Caius. They hit. It'll be a goddamn. Oh. Master of Gales is gonna five foot step by just like pivoting to where he kind of pops up on the table and he's sitting on the table and he's just eating a leg of chicken. Like just a big old, like a turkey leg. It's a turkey leg. He's just eating it. He's watching everything unfold. He has not currently engaged in combat, technically. He's just watching. He's like, this is weird. I like it. He's an impartial observer. Yeah. Uh, the rat man, the rat man is going to, his right hand is shrouded in like weird glowing light, which he rubs down his sword. Uh, and then he pivots over to here, try and stab this woman, which he does and might kill her. Wow, 22 is apparently... Oh, that's enough to kill that person. 22 is apparently the amount of damage they deal. I don't know. It's weird. They do uh, 22 damage. All right, this guy here. Big old clusterfuck there. Oh, oh, Owlbear oh, on the lady that attacked him. On the lady that attacked him is going to try to give her the boots. There's a whopper. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh, she's playing Scrabble with Jesus. Oh, poor, poor woman. That poor, poor woman. Uh, hold on one second. Oh, there. 36 plus. Oh, there is. 36 plus. Um, she oh, just gets broken in half. Like, he hits her in the side, and she just kind of folds. And then he just, um, he just screams, Cap'n! 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 Just screaming Cap'n. Um, he's very happy about it. And uh, no five foot step forward. I'm your crew. Uh, moves up. Arlen. Arlen. Alright. Just gonna move. <sighs> do a little, do a little move. Do a little move to get within range of the haste. Uh, should be fine. Like, yeah. And then, uh, it's gonna take a shot at this lady here. Uh, Roll 20. Oh, 
at the top of the round, everyone give me perception checks, please. Okay. okay. There we go. Pretty okay. I perceive this lady's a... See you next Tuesday. Cool. Thank you, guys. I like that. Fuckery. Macro fuckery. Let's I don't overthink about it. Go. Oh, it doesn't mean anything. I wouldn't overthink it. And with Harlan moving, we'd get haste now? Yes. We got haste. Okay. You still have an attack, I believe. That was only 30 feet, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just... I have to... I forgot I have to manually input my attack and damage numbers into this macro. So I'm just looking to make sure I got it correct. Which I do. Okay, cool. Uh, attack that lady is just the first one. 27 for 17. Yes. 27 for 17? Yeah. Swing and a miss. Swing and a miss. Okay. Cool. Hi. Hi. Or should I call you Count Captain La? Captain Captain La. Oh. Uh, no. Oh, go away. Uh, <laughs> boom. Uh, boom. Uh, <laughs> Count Leave Captain the dad jokes La. to me. Yeah. All right, folks. See you another month and a half. Good night, everybody. Hyas is going to heal himself. Uh, All right. <laughs> and... Captain Yula. That's uh, pretty funny. That was, that was Patrick level. Come on, that was good. That was good. No, I, I would have say. never. I would have never stooped to that level. Sure, you would have. Hanging fruit. <laughs> I'm dying here. It's so funny. That's so funny. He's gonna swing on the uh, the captain. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Come at me, bro. Does sixty do massive damage death on the first hit? Holy oh, shit! God, Jesus. Forty-three for thirty. Thirty-eight plus twenty-seven plus 27. three, so sixty-eight. Three. Oh, I'm sorry. Six. 33 is a hit for 25. Jesus. 15's a miss. And another crit? God Jesus. damn. God damn. That might actually kill her. And then you have the bite. Hold on. <laughs> he nips her. Uh, so Caius walks up. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. Is, is, will, will this have killed her? Uh, the, 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 the haste attack does kill her, yeah. Yes. Okay, so I could use my new feet that I've had since level six. Okay. <laughs> All right, it's called change of heart. When I attack someone and they would otherwise die from my attack, I can make a diplomacy check against them that will improve their attitude using the damage I would have dealt to kill them as a bonus to my diplomacy check. Jesus. <laughs> so that is 31, Why 39, 59, <laughs> 64 damage. Let's see. Oh, I think they're friendly now. Holy fuck. Her expression goes to one of... Serve me or die. Okay. And I and she's just like, yeah, yes, yes, captain. I see what he's doing. Okay. So, you know, he kicks her in the chest to knock her down, puts the sword to his th to her throat and is... Yes, 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 captain. Yes. Oh. Who, do I know what I... ship she's captain of? Uh, She is captain of... I'm going to actually give her... Through some tokens. See this lady, and this lady, and this lady. So they're purple, the purple ones. Does, does her ship have a name? Uh, or does she on. have a, I mean, What's her name? I can just do it that way. It has uh, a name. It's called yours. Yours. Yeah. <laughs> yours. Uh, it's called. It's called. It's called the Bloodborne. Crew of the Bloodmourne, your captain has made a wise decision and has decided for you all to live. Fight alongside us or fall at the end. Do as he says, ladies. Do as he says. I think it's just funny that it was the, the militant lady. I don't know yeah. why. That's kind of funny. I don't know what it is. I'm going to I'm going to get so, so canceled. I'm going to get so I canceled. I have been I have been waiting to use this feat on a crit finish on a boss since I picked it up. That's pretty amazing actually. Uh well she's now on your side, so that's cool. Edward Tarbos. AKA the Tarbinator. Tarbinator. 
Oh. AKA the the the, the Tarptin. The, the, tar the Tarptin. Like Captain but right, Tarptin. I'm leaving. I'm done. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Um, fuck that shit, I'm out. Mm -hmm. Fuck that shit, I'm out. Um, Big Tarbos. <laughs> Uh, through I'm the, uh, <laughs> through the, uh, telepathic leg, just essentially one down, three to go, boys. A little bit more than three, but yes. Uh, for who's here, uh, I think we only have three here that would be left to fight. Well, assuming the Master Gales would step in, yeah. Right, right. He's That's, just chilling, also, man. Yeah. There's also all kinds of other lieutenants here that... Oh, yeah. Well, I meant, like, yeah. crews. Oh yeah, three crews. Yeah, three crews. So that was huge. Got himself some turkey. He's just... yeah. That was a that was a very good round. That was yeah. A that huge changes round. what I was gonna do. That's huge. That's such a cool ability too. Oh, I love change of heart. Uh, I saw it and like that. Yeah, I can't not have a serve me or die moment. I can't yeah. not. Yeah. She's like, um, you know what? You know what? Yes. Because <laughs> you literally almost killed me in one round. Yes. I took this literally over power attack. That's so good. I Maybe now it. she's like, like, oh, that's how he took the, they do the island. Oh, thing. that's how he took the Dominator. Oh, I get it. Oh, I thought I he was a bitch. Now. But I, but he's not a bitch. <laughs> um, Weird. Get yeah, to there, and it is not carrying over my fucking AC for some reason. I'm showing your AC is 32. It is 36. That's stupid. You're stupid. I'm sorry. <laughs> I can leave. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> I've been all of my games that I've been running lately have realized that I'm really cheeky lately. It's because I'm in a good mood. So <laughs> right. this means I love you. All right. Well, I'm gonna try to a womp wolf boy here. Yeah. And I'm just gonna. You mean pray. the character that's my spirit animal? Yes. Yes, <laughs> your spirit animal. The giant wolf with the long sword. All right. So that's haste, heroism. Probably hit him. I can't think about werewolves or vampires without thinking right, about... So you did move, though, right? right? So you only get the first attack? Yes. That is a hit for 19 damage. Do you, however... What is... What level of... Uh, is your is your weapon silver? Uh, I have plus three cutlasses. I think plus three bypasses plus three silver. Bypasses I, think silver. Right. I think it's plus four for adamantium yes. and plus five for alignment. Yes, that is what it's at. So we're good. So you do bypass his DR. You hit him. He goes, grr. <laughs> he goes, wait a grr. minute. That's not supposed to hurt. Grr, he says. Uh, just, Dominator crew, no. this is this section over here is just a clusterfuck of pirate brawling. Like, it is just a clusterfuck right now. Oh, yeah. She's continuing clown. to sing. She's watching her husband. Um, and she is going to going to move over to actually she's going to free action maintain her bardic performance. It's going to get to here and let me double check something. She's going to cast a spell because she is a bard, and she is going to ha cast. Gonna cast gun and shoot Edward. Ideally. She's gonna cast haste on herself. The eel. Wait, is that, is that within 30 feet? Oh, just out of range. Oh, sucks. She's gonna cast haste on herself and her husband. Um that he is now hasted. And you hear her shout. Um that this feels stupid. She's just like, darling, this feels dumb. And uh, he is just full-born angry. The eel, the eel, the eel, the eel is now hasted. Can, can we respond out of uh, out of turn order or no? Like, like verbally? To their speech, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. We have no quarrel with no one who sent us here to die. Our fights with Kurdak and those who support him. Interesting. We'll leave that one for now. We'll see what that where that goes. We'll see where that goes. We'll leave that one put for a now. Pin in it. You gonna put a pin in it? We're gonna uh, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna cap that one. I I I, made, I was talking to Jasper Jasper earlier. I was making a bunch of hat related jokes, and that was one of them. We're gonna cap that one for now. Oh, no, <laughs> no, it's so funny. Oh, I love hats. I, I hate you. Wolf. It's good. It's good. Uh, we're having fun. We're having fun. We're having fun here. 
I'm sorry, this is a good time. I'm happy to be here. Uh, he's going to move 5, 10. Actually, he's just going to move 5, because I think that puts him within 30 feet. Oh, it does. And he's going to start chucking bombs. All right, Captain Caius Bobias. You are a person that exists. And dear God, good old eel is going to say, you know what? Eeny, meeny, miny, die. Oh, let's see. So we got 18 plus 18. And then we got a 15. I think 15 misses your, misses your touch AC, right? 15 does miss with haste. Ooh, buddy. So that's good. So one of them misses. So let me roll a D8. One, two, three, four, five. It lands right below you. I need you to give me a reflex save. I think I did it. Do you have evasion? No. Okay. Then you only take two points of acid damage on that one, and then the rest of the damage. And he is excluding Bloodmourne because he doesn't realize that she's like given over. Because I'm assuming you weren't like yeah. announcing it, you were like talking quietly to her. Um, so he's gonna exclude no, her. No, he, de he oh, he's definitely announced, he announced it. it. Oh, that's right, you yeah, did, you he, did. He, he so he's gonna hit her with the uh, splash damage, right? Um, mm -hmm. So she's gonna make reflex saves. So she has whatever health she had would have left up to that crit. Oh, no. One and his DC is 20. So she actually succeeds and she's a rogue and has evasion. So she will take no damage. However, her crew does not, and that crew gets melted. She's All right. a rogue that stepped up to a fighter. Weird. She died. What about me? Do I need to do anything? Uh, you are also going to take splash damage, so I need you to make reflex saves, two of them. Uh, that's what I thought. Okay. Take 56 damage, Caius. Uh, half damage, which would be two damage. I take two. Oh, no, I'm sorry. It's minimum damage on the dice, too, so it would be five damage. Five damage. Other three. Was that me? It was five as well? Five damage to you, yep. And then one more reflex save, because it was two bombs. Oh. Yeah, damn. Good for you. Good for you. Another five damage. And he is going to go to Harper. I'm gonna charge up and Harper's gonna charge up right here. And um he takes his pipe and he flings the hot ashes into the face of the other person. And as she's freaking out, he guts her. He uses faint. Um nice. Because he's like a he's like a roguish fighter type in my in my head cannon, and she just gets nuked. Get bent. Blackbeak. Alright. So uh, let's go after her. Uh... Wehrman. Yeah. No. Is he Henry Bam Wehrman. He's a Wehrman. He's a Wehrman. He, yeah. he verfs Wehrman? <laughs> he's, he's a wolf. He's a wolf. He's a werewolf. 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 No bite. No claw. Mm -hmm. uh, miss. 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 Yeah. Not great. Not great. Miss him. Sandra Quinn. Sandra Quinn is going to over to here and cast prayer which Ooh, i think gets everybody yeah it does yeah it does prayer plus one to attack and damage and minus one to attack and damage on the enemies so remember that lady that just went bye bye mm -hmm. hey give me a perception checks please Six. I think he's trying to kill us. Maybe. Oh. Uh, Caius, you see her slip out from a shadow right here and go to stab Harlan in the back. Where? Right oh, there. okay, sorry, I see right it. Right here. Yeah, you, she... uh, you probably pinged on, though. I see it. He appears right over yonder. Right there. Okay. Right there. Good stuff. Um, and good stuff. she is going to try and stab Harlan in the face. No. Uh, no, I'm not going to do it. I only have the one PP point. Yes, lawful rogue. Neverwinter Nights in real life. It's true. Um, all right. 
So she is going to slip through. And Harlan, you don't hear it, unfortunately. And she's going to stab you in the back. Which this is not going to feel good. So I apologize in advance. This will be her shocking rapier. What's your flat-footed AC? Uh, it's not going to matter. <laughs> 31? Yeah, it's lower. Okay. So that is going to deal you... D6. So D6 plus six. Do you have any resistance to electricity? No. Plus... Oh! This could be really good or really bad. 34 damage. Not terrible. Not terrible. There's a lot of ones in there and some twos and threes and fours. Give me a fortitude save. Okay. Right? Uh, you are poisoned. And you take one con damage. Uh, not con damage, dex damage. One dex damage. Oh, fantastic. Um. Right and fuck here. You're up next. Oh man, I have too many things I need to do. Um, honestly, this is going pretty well, all things considered. Like you got to be real. Like this is going pretty, oh, pretty yeah. okay. So this this tiefling looking thing with the red circle just to my north. She's a bad girl. Oh yeah. She's and that. The one she's that, that she's unexpected that showed up. No, no, this one right just to my north. No, oh, no, that's, that's Nasara. That's Nasara. Oh, that's she's good. Nasara. Yeah, Nasara. yeah, she's right. she's medium now. She's a contract devil. All right. She's got a big old. So, she got a big old paper, like a big she scroll. Just she's just writing contract. She's like, and today, I okay. served Captain Caius. He's so a vampire, that one which is kind of is weird. Bad. That it was, I forgot. Bad. I had forgotten that I let oh, you become okay. a vampire because I'm an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> like I gotta all end right. it here. I gotta kill you all right now, right here, right now, or else it's it's over for me. I might as well just be like, okay, the rest of the campaign, you win. <laughs> kidding i don't care <laughs> i'm going to forbid action greater Ooh. let me see if i can 30 oh one creature per level no two of Ooh. which can be more than 30 feet apart so let's see 5 10 15 20 25 Ooh. i'm gonna try two of them love that and these two so that's one pretty so i can do 11 all right so the one that just popped up yep the werewolf. Yep. Too far apart. Oh, shoot. Darn it. All three of these guys are within 30 of each other, though. The bard, the... Yeah, but I've got to see where... I gotta be. they got to be within 50. That is within darn 50. It, darn, it, darn it, darn it, darn it, darn it. I really want to stop her, though. Yeah, that's fair. Uh... We'll take... I'm gonna, I didn't take... I'm gonna, I want to take that back. I'm gonna cast a uh, whole person on who? On the one that popped out and stabby he stabbed our boy. Uh, where is whole person? That's a third or a second. That's a second, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. We're gonna do that one. DC is twenty. That's a will save. Uh, uh, we on the gate. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, buddy. Ooh, is that a is whole person an enchantment effect? It's an enchantment. Yeah. Uh. Oh, buddy. He's a rogue. Mm -hmm. She doesn't have great will. Oh, she's whole person. Oh, that sucks for her. So bad. So she's held. You're welcome, You're welcome Harlan. It's like ah. Thank you, Thank you sir. And that is my turn. Come on, Miss Luna. Hi, baby. What? Are you eating? Good girl. Oh, then I'll five foot step away from the bird. Oh, no. Tessa, 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 Tessa. Uh, things seem to be going well over here, so she's just going to move up and end this lady right there. Shivka is going to try and punch this guy. There's some fighting back and forth over here. And then Dominator crew fighting, fighting. Okay, this one's gonna go for Eeny Meeny Miny. Kill the bird. 31! Miss. Son of a bitch. 
34 got house. your ass. 34 hits. Congratulations, you can hit the broad side of a barn. 11 damage, get it. <laughs> uh, she is going to pivot over to Owlbear. This guy is like, wow, you are a strong fighter, man. I'm going to try and kill you. He's going to stab him a couple times with his trident. Yep. Yeah, oh no. And he gets, how many? It's two or three. I think he was at three attacks. Nope, just two. Cool. All right, so two attacks. Hits him twice. Plus 10. Eight plus 10 plus 46. Eeny, meeny, miny. This might hurt a little bit. Boom. 40 damage to Owlbear, who's still up, but he ain't happy. Fighting, fighting, lots of fighting going on. So we got some more fighting that's going on over here. And Lady Cersei is going to step forward and try to kill this lady right here, who does not see it coming, apparently. Let's see what happens. Oh, no. Does not confirm. And 22 is a hit. We'll deal minimum damage. He's on your side. But she's a little hesitant about it. She's a little shaken still from almost getting yeah. one shot. Asara. Asara is going to attempt to summon your devils. That's a success. Nice. I always call low. You know I always call low. I always call low. <laughs> I always call low uh, wolf until I call high. Nice. <laughs> I don't think I've ever called high. That's true. Uh, I have it I picked up for my dad. Don't know why. Uh, this is up to third. I'm going to step her forwards a little bit. And they're going to go... How many? In those three squares? Six. Oh, shut up. Yeah. That's insane. Oh, I'm sorry. One D6, not six. Three. That's still pretty good. That's still pretty good. And there's going to go in this line right here. Just cut him off. Yep, cut him off and get adjacent to the bard. Ooh, sassy. And they act on her next turn, I believe. Okay. Perfect. And Bearded Devils have 57 HP. I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm just gonna have him try and grapple the, the, the guy. Hold on. Yep. No, I just want to let you know what I'm. I'm just so you know. I'm what not to look gonna for. put them in the initiative order. I'm just gonna have them go on Asara's turn. On Asara's turn. Yeah. Totally, yeah. totally fine. They they operate off mental commands anyways. I think as summon creatures. Nice. All right, so we got some more fighting over yonder. They've actually kind of wrapped things up, so they're going to move up and actually start to harass the bard. Yeah. This one here is going to five foot. Try to attack Cutthroat Grok. Fighting guns over there. Cutthroat Grok looks over and just decapitates this woman right here. Okay. Oh. He's just like, no. No, I've been stuck on a ship for too long. I'm killing people with my double, double orc axe. She is going to move over and attack the eel. That is a damn pirate crew. That's a possible crit with a cutlass. What the fuck? Oh, she crits the eel. Get fucked. The eel takes 24 damage. He does not like that. Oh, here's the thing. His wife's being threatened. Oh, no. Oh. He, dis he charges this, provoking attacks of opportunity from Edward and the bird. And he's going to attack this bearded devil. Do -do. They have DR5 good. 36. That'll play. That'll play. 30. 36. Crit. <sighs> 27 does not confirm, but that's a hit for 20 damage. Uh, 1d8 plus 10. And he has. Was it cold damage? I think they're immune to cold, right? He's just cold 10. Won't matter. 
he'll just deal this damage. 15. Which, his weapon is powerful enough to overcome... Is it silver or good? Or just silver and or good? Silver, so he'll do... Get back, darling! He screams. Eric Crew is going to go for Owlbear. That's a hit. 13 damage. Owlbear is got Barbarian level, so he's just loving this. Master of Gales uh, picks up a mug and knocks it back and takes another bite of turkey and is just kind of watching and nodding his head. Like, all right. All right, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. I like this. I like this. Dinner and a show. All right. All right. Dinner and a show. I like it. Didn't expect that. Didn't expect that. This guy here is going to eeny, meeny, miny. It doesn't look like it's going well. I'm going to go for uh, He's going to try and stab her before it's a hit. Eight plus one d six plus. Oh, this is gonna hurt. So, here is what happens. He stabs her, and as he stabs her, a gout of flame shoots out of his sword for burning mm. hands, because he's a spell sword, and it's gonna hit all of these pirates down here, and it's probably gonna hurt. Um, so let's see what happens. So this is the primary damage to her. She takes 30. That was a lot of ones. And then the other two, 2, 5, 11, 12, 30, 40, 15, 20 damage possibly to the other pirates. They get reflex saves. Reflex saves aren't great. Fail. Success. Fail. Dice taketh and giveth away. Success. So this one dies, this one dies, the other two look singed. And Sheepka, who's already been hurt, make her reflex save for there. She'll make her reflex save. A five is a success, and she has evasion, so she is good. Alright, and Cutthroat Grok is just a little singed. Dominator crew is like, I hate you. Over, they engage her. I'm gonna pivot around to flank. He'll take an attack of opportunity. He'll hit. Ah, she gets looped, unfortunately. Albert looks down at the trident holes in his chest. Ouch. Looks up at the man with the trident, and he goes. You stupid captain! And he's gonna try and smash him. Um, he's just gonna—he's just gonna go for it. He's going—he's going hard. He's, he's just—he's just precious, isn't he? He's—he's he's so nice. Thirty-four hits. Just—he's just my favorite little guy. Um, he's gonna deal. Um, double damage. He's in a power attack. Yeah. Eighteen damage on the first hit. Then he'll swing again because he hates him. 20 plus, uh, he's got plus 22. This one becomes a 17. 19, unfortunately, is a miss. But he got a good lick in there. This lady here is going to move up. He'll move over to here. Arlen, you're up next. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right. So the lady behind me is full person. I'm going to shoot at the wearman once again. Hopefully this time I'll actually hit him. We'll see. Yeah. Eight. Eight. Shooting at the wearman. Wow. Oh, 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 oh. Worse. Wow, 30 hits. Uh is your are your weapons is what what's the bonus on your weapon? Uh plus one, I think. Okay, so it'll deal a little damage. Uh, roll me two confirmed criticals. Unfortunately, yeah, that was that was sad. I don't like I don't like to see that. Yeah, I don't either. Uh, 
Uh, wow. Both of those confirm. Oh, fantastic. Just, all right, just so I'm... range. You take a minus four penalty on all attack rolls for one round. And uh. you take a minus two penalty to AC. Nope, hold on, ranged. Reroll the attack against the nearest creature, uh, the target, yourself excluded. What? So the next, next one? So the next closest target would be... So on his <laughs> next attack, he would reroll? Well, I don't like that one. We're, we're drawing a different one. You drop your weapon. There you go. So you, you, you shoot awkwardly, and then your weapon falls out of your hand. But you can just pick it up next turn. It'll be fine. At least I got one hit though, which means because I have a designating longbow, anybody that attacks Wehrman gets plus two to attack and plus two to damage until my next turn. I love that. So fuck that guy. Caius the Kinless, AKA Captain. Okay, Caius is gonna just start marching up to the sky and like as he does, probably gonna slap by another bomb. Goes, Cut that shit out. <laughs> Stop and it. And, and, and he's gonna dominate. Oh, 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 oh. So that's a DC 22 will save. What? What is happening here? This is crazy. All right. So we got this guy over here. He's going for it. Things are getting crazy over yonder. You love to see it. Mr. McMahon. I'm probably not going to work that well. I wanted to do against the, the, What's the werewolf, the DC? but he hasn't been attacking me. 22 because I have a massive charisma. Ooh, baby bird. What's his... Uh... You know, honestly, his will save isn't great. Really? He's a caster, isn't he? He's an huh. alchemist. Yeah, he's an alchemist. Oh. He's intelligence based. Oh! Oh! He just stands why? There. He's just like. There we go. That's my Ooh. turn. Okay, Who boss. Fuck? Who the fuck is this motherfucker? <laughs> he's dominated. That's hilarious. Edward Tarbos. Um. This is going about how I expected it. You guys just fucking owning it. I love it. With, with a quick uh, mental thing to Caius, just you want me to focus on the crew or the wolf? Focus on the real wolf. Wolf? All right. Focus on the wolf. We I'm need prisoners. To... He'll, yep, say, he'll say, he'll say to everyone over the telepathic bond. I love this. I will take the uh, attack of opportunity from the crew oh. member. Oh, yeah. Actually, I'm going. Uh, can I use a hero point for that movement? Yes. So I can get a full, full round, round of attack? Yes. Okay. And uh, first still, of all, still... first off, first off, Edward, Mr. Zebulus, you don't have hero points. You have PP points. Uh, can I use one of my PP points? Yes, you may. <laughs> yes, you may use a pirate point, sir. Can I go to the bathroom? I don't know. Can you? I don't care. That's <laughs> like, what that fucking felt like. <laughs> this place is a prison. <laughs> I hate it. I fucking hate it. I'll tell you what I can do. I can piss on your floor. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to do that. And do... You still want me to eat the uh, attack of opportunity based on the uh, PP point or? Uh, Yeah, you'll still take an attack of opportunity. I don't think it's going to do much. It, they miss. All right. So in the, and because you designated the wolf, I get a plus two. To attack and damage. Yep. Yeah. Plus two to attack and, and damage. Oh, shit. Yep. Until my next turn. Ooh. Boys. Yeah, it was only like five grand to get that upgrade, so I was like, fuck it. 28 hit for 24, 32 hit for 19. Uh, Ren damage, 38. Uh, Ooh, Cutlass 2, rent. miss, miss, possible crit miss, reroll the attack. Likely crit miss on number three, too. Hmm. <laughs> I say. Does not. Nope, that's an 18, but the 28 is a hit. So that's good, but uh, it does not confirm the critical mess. Um, Iridessa is going to five foot back, continue her bardic performance, and she's going to shout to her husband. Uh, she's going to shout to her husband, Avamar, this battle is lost. Give up. Like, let us, let us at least lead with our lives. She's like pleading to him. And he's just like really angry, right? But he's looking super fucked up, bleeding, cut in the back. Yeah. Edward would definitely. Uh, what do you want like... him to do? It's it's the it's the it's the guy it's it's the guy's turn. What do you want him to do? He doesn't give him any commands. He doesn't realize he's done it. Oh, he's just standing there. He's, it's, he's scared out of his mind. Standing there drooling. 
Yeah. Yeah, that's, that, that's it. Okay, cool. Uh, Harper is going to repack his pipe <laughs> and light it, and that is his whole turn. Excellent. Uh, Blackbeak. Okay. Uh, mm. These other two miscreants just, just like literally yourself. going like I expected. Like you guys just crushing it. I love it. I, I was love waiting it. for some fuckery to happen. Um, I mean, there's been a little fuckery, but not as much as I was expecting. Yeah. Uh, I think what really changed the tide was the fucking whole person back here. Oh, yeah, the whole 100%. person, the first round finish on Bloodborne. Yeah, a hundred percent. Oh yeah. Well, if I would have been able to see it, if it wouldn't have been like a sneak from invisibility sort of like, thing, I've got this shit escape. over here is not going horribly for you guys, but also got no. going pretty good. No. <sighs> Um, like this shit over here is going great. Blackbeast just gonna attack. I'll go for this. Probably murder her. Yeah, we'll see. Blackbeast's not been rolling so hot tonight. So I have faith in the bird. Good. Pray to the bird gods. Uh, 32 for 14. She's dead. Okay. And then they attack the other one with the claws. Uh, that person gets ripped apart. Fantastic. It's bloody. Uh, Bloodborne is uh is got a very grim look on her face. She's like, oh god. Ah, I was such a fool. <laughs> I made so many mistakes. Oh, God. I should have just said nothing. I'm just happy that it was her that opened up with the, hey, you a bitch? And then you were like, Neil. Actually. <laughs> actually. <laughs> actually. <laughs> so My good. goal is to blow up in public and then act like I don't know nobody. Uh, she's going to step like up to here know. and she's going to use Cure Serious Wounds. Oh, thank you. You get 27 HP back. Thank you. She's like, and she's just gonna, she's just gonna grin and she's gonna say the sea bitch is pleased. <laughs> thank you. I'll smile. All right, now this lady has a very fun ability called Slippery Mind, which means at the top of her turn, she can try again to well, break no, the enchantment. She could do it anyway. And uh, she could do it anyway, but this specifically, that one's at the end of her turn. At the top of her turn, so yeah. So now she gets to do it at the top of her turn, so she could potentially still take her whole turn. All right, so 20. she's going to try. 26, she, she manages. It. So you're not focused on her, right? So she does that shit. She is then going to attempt a feint. Do you have, do you have sense motive, Arlen? Uh... We either use no. your attack. We either use your base attack bonus, or right. we use your sense motive check plus ten, and that's the DC she has to beat to try to feint and bluff you, and then get sneak attack. So well, sense motive plus ten is higher than my BAB. All right, what's the total? Fourteen. Only fourteen. Yeah. Ouch. I'm on like three quarters. Uh, so fourteen. So it'd be twenty-four then, because it's plus ten, right? Well, no, that's I've only got four in sense motive. What's your a B A B though? Base attack bonus. It's got to be higher than uh, that. It's no, because we're only level eleven. Yeah, we're only level eleven. My B A B is eight. I'm only three quarters. Okay, so you have an eight B A B. So eight. What's your wisdom modifier? Uh, three. Okay, so eight plus three, eleven plus ten is twenty-two. So so tw twenty-one. So her DC is twenty-one to bluff you. I'm s um, pretty sure she's still gonna make it because she has pretty good bluff. Probably. Uh, yeah, she has to roll a one, but we'll see what happens. She rolls a one. She rolls a one. She does not bluff you. So she attempts to faint. She fails. And you notice that she's free. And then she tries to stab you. So she'll still get her attack. Your regular AC on this one. Uh, she still gets her attack. Which is a 36. Yep, that does is. not crit. 6 plus 1. Plus actually plus 3. Plus 1d6 electricity. She only deals 15 damage to you. Only deals Holy. 15 damage. Uh, oh I forgot to have you do it on your turn, so we'll do it on her turn. Give me another fortitude save, please. Oh, okay. Two. Nice! Third. You resist the poison, and you are no longer poisoned. Very good. Very, very good. You only have the one dexterity damage, which effectively does nothing to you. Not bad. All right, and that is her whole turn. Oh, no, wait, she has greater improved thing which means she did is nope that's all her whole turn all right cool walk here thrice round um so this spell is kind of weird <laughs> a lot of them are i like it is it, I, I is like it, it weird is it the actual weird spell because that'd no. be sick why are you not going through 
When Patrick says things are about to get weird, it means things are about to get real. Sounds weird. just like prom night. Why are you not going through? All right, moving on. Is that you hate it here? My, oh, here. Fuck. my uh, oh. roll 20 is not wanting to send this. A uh, harm. Oh, no. Who are you harming? Uh, the, I would go up and to the lady that's messing with Marlon. That's such a dick move. Uh, harm charges a subject with negative energy that deals 10 points of damage per level. Yep. So that'd be 110. Yep. There it goes. Okay. It went through twice. Finally. Uh, we'll All save, right? So, does it say that I have to make an attack? Uh, it is a touch attack. Yes. I know Slay Living says, it specifically says that. This just says I just have to touch her. It's a touch well, attack. Yeah, but to, but to uh, touch someone, you have to uh, touch attack them. The melee touch attack. To make sure you just got to hit her touch that. AC, which is probably pretty good. It's pretty okay. It's a 19. Sure. So I got a melee touch. Okay. Well. Let's do a regular melee attack. You miss, but you still have the harm charge in your hand. Your hand is still glowing with the harm energy, just so you know. Uh, uh, don't, you don't lose the spell. You just don't touch her. I hate that. Okay. Uh, would making a full attack action? That's not a full attack action, though, is it? Nope, I moved. As a fair win is going to move All up right. behind her, and uh, she moves up and behind the bard and just sets her cutlass on her shoulder. And she's going to attempt an intimidate check on the werewolf to stop fighting. She's going to attempt an intimidate check. I don't know if it's going to work. Her intimidate's pretty okay. 31. So Tessa sets her sword on the woman's shoulder, the blade against her neck, and she says to Arvash, she says, Arvash, surrender, or I will gut your wife. And Arvash is going to growl, and he is going to drop his weapons, and I'm going to put a net on him, and a net on the bard who stops singing, because they are effectively surrendering. Because they are surrounded. Okay. And that is that. Shivka is going to... I'm going to try to grapple this guy. Oh, Shivka, Shivka, let's go. 32! Shivka grabs the, 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 the water elf. She just like, grabs onto it. She's like grappling it, right? German yeah. suplexes. Yeah, and she's just like, floor. my name is Shivka. You are tiny elf boy. I crush you. <laughs> Hello, Zangi Falskin 9. I, cr I will crush you now. You are going to be crushed by Shivka. Uh, he is grappled. He's going to attempt a escape artist check to try and get out of the grapple, uh, which he is okay at. Uh, he actually doesn't have that many skills. Let's see if he can do it. Uh, eeny, meeny, miny. Nope. <laughs> That's not going to do it. That is not going to do it. So he's just like, ah, damn it, let me go. Let me go. I'm a, let go of my tiny, flailing, noodly elf arms. <laughs> so that's good. Dominator crew Stop is going to move up and begin securing the wife. Uh, this Dominator crew here is going to help secure her. Cersei is going to look around and she will say... What are your orders, Admiral Caius? Caius will, you know, smile but not look back at her so she can't see it and say, yeah. Go secure the elf. Yes, sir. <laughs> I love that so much. Ah, uh, Nisara. I was just looking at spells. Uh, she will go ahead and move over to here and play skin um actually she'll just greater invisibility him love that uh parlin oh, yeah. nice. uh these guys right here are securing this prisoner a throw grok is going to move in and assist in the grapple he's just going to roll a dc10 yep that guy is She's going to try to pin him. And you know what? He's pinned. He's pinned. They just grab onto him and pin his ass. Love that. Um, Pirate crew here is going to try to tie up the eel. Because he's just standing there. It works. Uh, he is being tied up right yonder. And she is going to... 
Five foot back, drop her weapon and surrender. Like, it's not going well. Master of Gales is... Neat. <laughs> Neat. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this guy here, uh, this guy, uh, the elf boy, elf boy is going to scream, get to the ship, warn Kurdak. Warn Kurdak. And he is going to, he's going to five foot to here, knock a potion and go invisible. Uh, he's going to five foot forward and start swinging wildly. Owlbear? Owlbear is angry at the elf boy. He lifts his club up to coup de gras him. Does anyone stop him? I'm not over there. I'm, I'm dealing with this lady. No, one, no one's over there, so unless Shivka or Grok does, the, 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 the goal is to take prisoners. Uh, Shivka and Grok are like, no, 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 no! I'm going to give Owlbear a will save. All right? EC 10. Okay. EC 10. He makes it. Hey! Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he knows. He knows. He stops. Oh, he got. Oh, he got awakened. Remember, he got awakened. He got awakened. <laughs> he's an animal. Oh, what the hell is wrong with you? He's a human being. You prick. I mean, no, to be awakened. fair, when we when we first came across him, he was little more than an animal. All right. Yeah, I had so, to fight him. <laughs> the sounds of combat, as quickly as they started, like thirty seconds later. This shit is over. You have three prisoners. What about this one up here? Uh, she is going to slip into the shadows and vanish. She's not about this. Oh. Literally, she five foot steps back. She's a shadow dancer. She shadow jumps. She's gone. We have no idea where she Doesn't is. she have to? Oh, shadow jump. Okay, yeah, yeah, they can dimension door. Yep. Yeah. Uh, pretty much dimension door. So she's gone. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and actually, I'm gonna end combat because this feels oh, like it's pretty much over. So we got this guy, we got this guy, we got this lady, we got the battle music over, and uh, I'm just going to play a little Ronin music. About figures, uh, Harlan finally comes across a sexy tiefling lady and she tries to murder him. That's about right. There's always next time. There's always next Someplace time. Someplace next time. There's always next time. So, <laughs> you guys have several of the pirate, and she's just... I don't know how long that lasts, but I'm just going to say she's like, she's it, like, I, it I'm, I'm good. Doesn't have it erased because it's not an intimidate. Yeah, she's like, no. It's I'm, a diplomacy. I'm good. I don't want to fight you anymore. Like, I, I get it. I get it. I get it. I get the whole Admiral Caius yeah. thing. I get it. Like, like yeah, like the duration is narrative. It's not, doesn't yeah, have a, I get it. Like a mechanical duration, yeah. like intimidate. So we've got the whole crew and uh, so he's got a fresh pipe packed. He's going to walk up, Mr. Uh. Mr. Uh, Mr. Harper, he's gonna walk up. He's just gonna. Good job, Captain. Thank you, Harper. Went a lot faster than I thought it would. Honestly, I was planning on being here all day. Really? I mean, the Admiral's a fucking vampire. What do you expect? Yeah. With all the bullshit we've had to deal with with Council, I was expecting. A lot more bullshit to be thrown our way. All the bullshit of this island. I think we deserved a little bit of a, an easy go of it. Walking past this conversation towards the Master of Gales, Caius would say, well, I'm glad we did it now instead of finding out they were so weak when the Kelly and Shalaxians attacked. And, you know, he walks over to the Master of Gales and gives him a nod and says, well, I appreciate you showing prudence out of all of them. Well, I just came here to eat. I don't know why he's an old timey prospector, but he is now. Yeah, he I'm is now. Yeah. Does it does so, jig? Yeah, we woo. No, but he um he 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 speaks. I came here to feast and to see if you had truly proven yourselves worthy of being on the Pirate Council. I have learned a great many things here this afternoon. Caius kind of furrows his brows and looks over his shoulder at the pile of pirate councilmen that are on the, the up by the stairs and looks back and like just kind of incredulous, like did they earn did you guys earn it? And he says, and he just he just nods sagely. He's like, hmm. What I have learned today, the 
the Pirate Council, the old Pirate Council, was weak, foolish, and, well, to speak candidly, rather incompetent. I am as the sea, neither friend nor foe. I simply go where the wind blows, and Admiral Caius, it seems the wind is strong at your back. If you would allow me, I will take the Kraken and return to Kodak Bonefist, and inform him of what has happened here, and make a personal recommendation that you all replace these so-called pirates on his council. Yay! Yeah, that's nods. I would ask one small favor, if I may. May I ask? Give me the eel. Why? What does he do? He... He is a spy. One that has worked for Kodak and myself. But seeing him so quickly turn upon you... I wish to deal with him personally. What manner? Oh, I will keelhaul him. From here, all the way back to Port Carroll. You want to do this because he supported me? I want to do this because he attacked you. And I know he cannot be trusted. The eel was the gnome alchemist. Yeah, I know. He turned, which is why I'm saying that. He's standing up there unchained. I don't know if Mr. Gale saw what happened, so I was bullshitting. Mm -hmm. Um, Please. Yeah. And Kaya shrugs and says, I don't know. Doesn't even want the eel? <laughs> You know, to the to the Nokia, the head Nokia. Does anyone want him for anything? The no? bottle thrower. And, oh. Yeah, then Cass will say we just want his equipment. Done. All right. So, the aftermath of this, you guys have proven yourselves to be well worthy, truly worthy of the title of both free captains and pirate lords in your own right. And each of you secures a seat on the Pirate Council with Kurdak Bonefist, which you will, several weeks later, after the Master of Gales leaves, returns back to Port Peril, receive a missive uh, that states that you are summoned, cordially invited, um, I would say, cordially invited, cordially required, as my old work used to say on meetings, you are cordially required to attend this thing. You are cordially uh, invited to meet with the Pirate King himself, the Hurricane King, um, at Port Peril, at his at his castle, as it were, and discuss these rumors of a invasion from Cheliax. He is perhaps finally seeing that maybe he should do something about it instead of just eat and drink all the time. That is effectively what the missive says. So good job. You guys win. Um, you win, you win chapter four and next week we'll be moving on to chapter five, uh, which will be insane. I'd like to take some time here, um, for anybody that wants to do any sort of like story exposition, have conversations with each other, with some of the NPCs. I, I expected this fight to go a little longer and then you diplomatized one of the bosses, dominated another one, and then just steamrolled everybody. So why did I expect to, anything different? You're gonna have to start giving these our enemies mythic levels. I might. I might just have to cheat. I might just have to cheat. Everyone has true strike on all the time. Just plus forty five to hit. And they get two <laughs> turns every turn. They get the mythic Every initiative where they get two turns <laughs> every round. Yeah. Everyone walks around buffed like an airlift. Correct. <laughs> Like, I, that is, okay, I'm going to say it. That's one of my biggest fucking complaints about that game is you have people just walking around constantly buffed at all times. And I'm like, there's no way. Yeah. No. People would not do that. First of all, spells don't last that long. Like yeah, they do physically there. impossible to do that. Yes. Yes. That was, yeah, it's ridiculous. Um, I don't think Kai saw the whole thing that happened with, uh, with Owlbear. I think he was busy with the eel at that point. Mm -hmm. He was going to crush this dude's skull, so he's not going to, like, reprimand him for that or anything. He also didn't do it, so... No, he didn't do it. He just thought about it. He thought about it. Thought about it real good. He considered it. He was going to do it. 
I'm warned. <laughs> he was mean, and I don't like him. He stabbed me in the chest. It hurt. <laughs> that was crazy. Absolutely crazy. Good stuff. Um, question. Answers. The rat folk. Yeah. She. What happened to him? To... You remember yeah, those? Did... You remember those gunners that you set up? The yes. rat folk got back to his ship, tried to exit, and the ship got sunk. Okay, that's yeah. <laughs> just I... just full broadside of the Dominator, and the ship just got deleted. <laughs> like, it, no, nobody escaped. There is a missing tiefling that's somewhere on the island, um, and we might deal with that tiefling at a later date. Uh, maybe Harlot will make a friend. We'll find out. I don't know. He was impressed that he didn't uh, die right away. Can we deal with tiefling now? Yeah, if you want to. Sure. It's our all go to sleep and memorize scry. <laughs> Egg. Um, she will be located in the druid grove that Harlan built. She will be hiding there. Hi there. <laughs> <laughs> How the fuck did you find me? You guys just want to roll up on her? Yeah. I love, that. I love that. I love that. Um, so this woman's name, this woman's name. Uh, Gangs of New York style, just rolling up. Hello there. Do this. Hold on. Where did she go? I deleted her a while back. I'm trying. There she is. All right. So this, her name is Centrina Valencina. Centrina Valencina. And when you find her, she's not exactly hiding. She's just like chilling in the druids' go with some of the druids, mm -hmm. like trying to blend in. She's got like a like a hood up, and she's like just like yeah, nature and shit. That's good. Um, she is a, she is an assassin, is what she is, right? And she was specifically hired, um, by Avorash and his wife to watch their back and take out the back line if things got nasty, right? So, mm -hmm. she's not exactly, mm. like, allied with them or not, she's a mercenary. Right? So she's like, look, I was going to leave, but I'm kind of stuck on the island. I got no beef with you if you got no beef with me. You won. All right? I don't want to fight. Yeah, how much did they pay you? Uh, for this, for being Job, here? yes. 20,000 gold. I'll take 20,000 gold and you can go. Wait, really? Yeah. Just give you this gold and I can leave. 20,000 gold, yes. That's what he uh, said, isn't it? How, how can I get off? Can you get me off the island? Got here yourself? On a boat that wasn't mine. Yeah, I assume she came with the, the people that hired her. Correct. <laughs> Give me the gold and you can figure out your own way off the island. What, you you have skills to trade, don't you? And if I refuse, you just kill me, right? Well, yeah, you tried to kill us. That's kind of how that goes. She tosses you a sack of gold. Is, it, is there 20,000 gold in there? 20,001. Excellent. Are you looking for a job? <laughs> uh, I was waiting for it. You fucking asshole. Uh, I could be convinced, she'll say. I happen to have 20,000 gold uh, to hire a great assassin to have on retainer. I agree. <laughs> She hates it. Like what she Harry, say. enjoy. Give them back to her. You, you you might be able to hire a boat to get you off this island with that. <laughs> fucking asshole. I love it. Walk away. Just fucking vampire bullshit. <laughs> you have an assassin on retainer now, by the way. Yeah, yeah, no, and, and if they want to fuck with her anymore, they're totally welcome to. I got yeah. my fucking with done. I'm good. I'm leaving. <laughs> he got his licks in. You <laughs> Edward is very much got what we if you want to kill her, you're welcome to. I hired her, not you. And he keeps uh, walking. <laughs> he's he's my boss. I gotta go. <laughs> I gotta go. <laughs> he might bite me if I don't. I don't. I. Do this. He bites people on the ship sometimes. <laughs> it's weird. Consensual <sighs> biter. All right. Well, with that being said, I think we'll wrap it up there. That's brilliant. Uh, congratulations. Uh, you guys oh. are still level eleven. Go ahead. Yeah, of course. Um, how long did it take to get from, uh, Tessa's place back to here? Wait, I assume it was, yeah, I assume it took some time for the setup to happen. Uh, it's like, it's like a week or two to get there. 
a week, a week. So I, so I assume, so I, so I probably eat by now. Probably had to munch. I don't know what the the time frame on that is. You did. You had to munch. Okay. So then I know it's going to be an issue at this point. <laughs> uh, we aren't setting prisoners free. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. A handful. Oh no! <laughs> you have enough for several months of eating, is what I'm hearing from Excellent. you. Oh dear gods! Uh, you also add like four new ships to your fleet, which is pretty great. Uh, I assume we only have crews for like two of them, assuming like half much. the people yeah. sign on. You have, you have enough crew for like yeah, like one of them basically. But you have ships in the harbor now that you know when you need a fleet, you've got it right. So you've probably got. Uh, probably you have. You have seven ships now, okay? Six ships, excuse me, I can do math. Six ships. And only enough crew for three or four of them if you've got to do skeleton crew. If you actually cast skeleton and three, you could probably do five, but yeah. Is that four of us for us or four of us with Tessa as well? Uh, Tessa has her four. own fleet. Tessa has her own okay, fleet. Okay, okay, okay. So that's not including Tessa. So, so we have enough crew for three of them. Correct. All right. Oh, uh, Kaya, so look to both Patrick and, uh, you know, Harlan and say well if either you want a promotion you, you, know, you gesture back you have you have your pick of the your run of the mill pretty cool well, i guess i would take one nice patrick you have to you have to name a ship for next session exciting yeah bismara's blessings <laughs> bismara's bountiful bosom <laughs> no will shake his hand and Say, congratulations, Cappy, Captain. Uh, Change my name to come to the captain now. Captain Thrice Drowned. <laughs> Captain Thrice. Captain Thrice. Yes. Captain Thrice. Yeah, Captain Walkier. I'm having Walkier. so much fun. I'm just having so much. Captain fun. Thrice Drowned. Yes. Captain Thrice. I'll, I'll, take a, I'll take a ship. As Mara's big bosom. All right. Hold on. We've got Besmara's Blessing. And what's yours going to be named? Hammer of Tyrants. Ooh, Hammer of Tyrants. The Hammer of Tyrants or Hammer of Tyrants? Just Hammer of Tyrants. I like it. Oppie. All right, there you go. Um, while all this happened, uh, Edward would, uh, pull... Oops, I clicked the wrong thing. Oh, ones... nobody pay attention Oop. to that. All right, there we go, fixed it. We didn't see uh, it. Would pull Simone aside and, uh... Yeah! Ask her to, uh, get a message to her sister. And, uh, ask her to, to do come... Do you want me to personally go to my sister, Captain? Or do you yes. want me to send a message? Uh, at this point, whichever you would prefer, copy. Does um, so you want me to call your wife a harpy? Is what I'm understanding. Oh no, oh, I don't like you. <laughs> <laughs> she will uh, gladly take, um, she will gladly get passage down to Tidewater Rock and go visit your wife, who you haven't seen in yeah. months. Yeah, and uh, I would like her to uh, bring her here to. Uh, what, what what do we call the island again? Means rest. Means rest. Means rest. Yeah. yeah. So she's gonna come back. We're bringing her back. We're bringing yeah. back your wife, yeah. Commander and First Mate Griffer Tibbs. What? Yeah, hell yeah. Yes. Ooh, I love and it. my son. And your son. My son. And, and my Edward son. Topos Junior. <laughs> yes. yes. My son. He's a he's a he's a he's a snappy young lad. As it were, snappy young lad. All right, gentlemen. Well, as I always say at the end of every session, any final thoughts, questions, comments, or concerns before we get ready to wrap up today's session? Can I release you back to the wild? Oh, back to the wild. Good to be back. Good to be back. Awesome to be back, yeah. Good to have some yeah. fun. It was a great session. Lots of fun. Well, thank you so much to the players for playing. Without you guys, this is impossible. And thank you for your patience. Uh, it's been like a month and a half, and we jumped right back into it. Had a great time. You guys kicked ass as you always do. Thank you to the viewers for viewing. Lawful Rogue, uh, Kura... We had Vampire Talking, Symbol, 
Atomic for the uh, everyone. Kura, everybody, thank you so much for hanging out with us. We had an absolute riot. You'll see more of these gentlemen next week. Same game time, same game place for Chapter 5 of our Skull and Shackles Adventure Path. We're moving into it. We're moving into it. And uh, Chapter 5 is a pretty interesting chapter. All right. I want to say it's a pretty interesting chapter. And uh, I I'm curious to see where this goes. We're really off book. We're really off book. And this is called... This is called The Price of Infamy, is the next name of the next chapter. The Price of Infamy. Because you guys are, if nothing else, very infamous at these at this point. Very, very, very infamous. And uh, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. We'll be well, be safe, happy gaming, and remember, the dice have a story to tell. And every week we find out what that story is. And often it's, I can't win. That's all it is. That's what it is. But anyway, good night, be well, and be safe.